all right guys back again um this is going to be kind of an unboxing initial impressions video of this uh this headlamp i bought um i've been looking for a really good rechargeable bright hunting headlamp that's going to last and uh and uh just be a better option than some of these chinese cheap made headlamps i've been buying and going through like crazy over the past few years um i really like supporting american made biz businesses uh which is part of the reason that went into purchasing one of these headlamps the this is made by stingray industries uh lighting they make this headlamp they make some lights for like your boat and, and other type things um i thought they were headquartered out of texas but this came in and it was shipped from springdale arkansas which is even better um so this light it is supposed to be 1800 lumens on the bright mode it has three modes it has a high a low and a strobe um with the high being 1800 lumens I, I should be able to see anything i need to in the woods with that and hopefully the low light will be good enough for me to walking in and out of my deer stand in the morning um and it's fully rechargeable so i'm going to open this sucker up and we're going to see what's in the package go well we have a box in a box situation uh just another plain box we'll go ahead and open that up okay well there's quite a bit of stuff in here let's pull it out and see so we have the light and some bubble wrap here there it is. Put the batteries in the back, and then you have the light up here on the front. Um, has a charger. It's a wall charger. Looks like it, it should have a spot to plug in. There's this little stopper on the bottom. Plugs in. I don't. I don't really like how this whole stopper comes out. I, I have a feeling I might end up losing this. Okay. And we have two rechargeable batteries. I'm gonna go ahead and, and pull this little plastic cover off the back here. I do like how it has this little ring, so you can't lose this. This wasn't very tight on the back, um, so I'm glad it's got this little ring so that it won't be lost. Pull that little sticker out. I'm going to install these batteries and place the cover back on. Okay, so that's that. Um, I don't want to use it too much so I get a good full charge on it. It does have some a ratcheting motion so you can have a good range of view. Power button's on the back. Let's see if I press it once, looks like it came on there. Again, still on, again, and there's your stroke. So I'm guessing one of these first clicks is gonna be your, looks like first click is bright, Second click is walking light, and third click is stroke. Um, I'm gonna get this thing charged up, and I'll probably come back out at night and, and just see how bright it is. But let's go ahead and put it on the, our head and just kind of see how it feels. Um, feels pretty good, feels secure. I like that. I do like the ratcheting head, so I can put this light right where I need it, up and down from using it to walk my feet. Or maybe I'm, I'm out doing some coon hunting or something, I wanna angle it up, look in the trees a little bit more. Um, so initial impressions are, are pretty good. Feels like it's made very well. Like I said, we're supporting some, some local businesses here in the state. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna get this sucker charged up. I'm probably gonna come back out and do some looking around at night. Um, and uh, I don't know if I'll get this video out now. I may just use this headlamp a little bit uh, during deer season in the coming months and then get, add, add some additional thoughts after that. Or I may go ahead and, and put it out there now, I'm not sure, but. Um, anyways, uh, appreciate you checking the video out. I hope this helps somebody, thanks. All right guys, I'm out here in my backyard. It's dark, I'm about to uh, test out this light. So let's turn it on, go bright mode first. What's well, a really bright spot? 
really lost those trees up pretty well. That's bright. So let's now let's go to the next mode, which is a little bit lighter. That's honestly probably a perfect walking light. And then finally, you have strobe. Man, I'm pretty pleased with how bright that, that bright light is. I mean, I'm looking, I can see those trees pretty well. And the walking light, you can't, but once you twist down here your feet, you can see pretty well. So, so far, so good. Um, I didn't mention earlier, this, this light costs $60 before any shipping or fees. Um, so I'm gonna give it a give it a shot this hunting season and see how it works out. But anyway, appreciate you taking time to check this video out, and if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate it. All right, guys, it's uh the end of deer season. Uh, my intention was probably get this video out after the unboxing, but life just kind of got busy. I've been hunting, um, so instead now it's the end of December, and I'm just now getting back to finishing up this review on this headlamp. Uh, I will say I have not been that impressed with it. Uh, first thing off is this charger that it comes with is this cheap, cheesy thing, and I do not like it. Uh, other thing is, is after I've used this thing for hours, I can plug it in on this charger and the light on this headlamp will say it is fully charged. I don't believe that. Um, other thing I really do not like this little plastic stopper. This pulls out so you can plug your charger in, but there's nothing that keeps this thing on. See, there it went. Now I'm gonna have to look around on the ground and find it. Um, I don't like that. Uh, another thing is, is it is noisy. I don't know if you can, let me put that down. There's something in this thing that rattles. That drove me nuts trying to deer hunt, trying to be quiet. Another thing, I thought I wanted a big, bright headlamp, and I, I love I love it for being bright. If you're a duck hunter, you're not so worried about being quiet, setting out decoys and stuff, this thing would be awesome. But trying to deer hunt, trying to be mobile, trying to pack in the least amount of stuff. Like at times when I wouldn't carry a backpack and I needed to carry my headlamp, this thing won't even fit in my pocket, okay? Like, it's a great light, it's bright, it's worked flawlessly, but it's just not, ideal for what i need it for um i'm probably gonna be looking at something else going into next year uh something smaller so that's still bright enough to get the job done but overall i've been pretty disappointed in this light as far as usability uh now like i said the brightness is great so if you're just wanting a good bright light for fishing duck hunting stuff like that then it is great but if you're looking for uh, light to take deer hunting that's gonna be quiet and uh, fit in your pack nice. I don't I don't really think this one's it. Um, so anyway, I appreciate you hanging around and checking this out. Hopefully it helps somebody. Um, if it does and you like it, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Um, but anyway, I'll see y'all guys the next one. Thanks.